All right, Dr. Cody Jackson, famous physician founder of the Family Physician Job Opportunities Facebook group series across Canada. How you doing? Good. What a gracious introduction. How are you? Don't let it get to your head. <laughs> uh, so you've got these groups. These are like the biggest, largest source of like family doctor jobs specifically across the whole country. We met a few years ago and have been working together for a while now. Why did you start building and growing these groups? Like what inspired you? So I, I think the initial motivation was, uh, so, you know, as you know, most young docs are kind of on Facebook. Facebook has become like the de facto community of practice location. Um, and I was on these groups and people kept posting jobs. And I was kind of annoyed because I was there to not look at job posts. And there was like job post after job post after recruitment post. And it was, uh, it felt like it was the wrong location for it. It wasn't amalgamated. Everything was siloed. So my initial was, I just wanted to get these out of my feed. So I created a whole new feed to put them into. Um, so I said, let's keep this for like our community of practice learning. Let's turn this into the job opportunity group. And then I thought it was going to be, you know, real quite small. And now we have 7,500 members. It's like where most locums are finding their jobs in Ontario. It kind of has blown up since then. Um, and there wasn't, there's very, as you know, there's very formal ways of like recruiting docs. And then there was all these informal ways, but all these informal ways were like spread across a million different avenues. So it was kind of like, we need the de facto informal way of, of casually recruiting. And what is it that's so special about family medicine specifically like why is everybody not just using linkedin or indeed like it seems the rest of the world is um why family medicine i i think it's because uh, the throughput is really high like i think in other other specialties and other jobs the jobs are more permanent or they're often longer or you're like inside of these sub communities of practice but in family medicine you have people that are you know, could be every two weeks going to entirely different parts of the province or even different provinces working for a job for three days in an emerge or two days here and having these people having to recruit for like on almost on a daily basis. If you have to, you know, go through this entire long process, the barrier to entry was so high, but just going on Facebook that you're already using to like your grandmother's photos. If you could then in five seconds be like, I'm going to emerge. Uh, can anyone? Uh, does anyone have a job and emerge here? And you can do that in five seconds. There, there was a need and the need was on Facebook. And just that, I guess that's where people are for their personal lives and sort of that path of least resistance to connecting everybody. Cause it really, I think is dependent on those like network effects and just the density of doctors and clinics in an area, you know, how many locums and how many job openings can you pack into a small spot? And that seemed to be that focal point that actually brought everybody together. That That's where everyone was. So it's instead of trying to, you know, bring them off, it's might as well, if you're looking for the lowest barrier to entry way to post, that's where it was. Now there are pros and cons as uh, we'll get into. That's why one of the reasons we partnered with Cherry is that there are cons that I think Cherry fills uh, the whole of there's a there's a gap that I think Cherry is situated quite well. Um, but at the beginning, it was just it was just easy and quick. That's what people were looking for. What is how, how can I make a post in nine seconds? Um, that's really what people were looking for. Just that speed of it. And then so we got linked up. I don't know how many years ago this was. You, you might remember this, but you actually banned me from one of your Facebook groups <laughs> posting about Cherry. And this was like. I was distraught. I was like, genuinely, that was like maybe one of the biggest bummed out days I've had in this whole, like building the cherry health network process was like, oh man, there's another guy who's like out there helping to connect the physician job space. And he thinks I suck. And he banned me. I've, and then we I've, later wound up right, reconnecting. <laughs> I, I, so I have to ban people like pretty frequently. Um, and because, you know, members report and I know some of the people who are part of the other groups, they say they have to like people are like threatening to sue them. I think it's uh, <laughs> I think it's it's more it's a it's a hassle. It's wild out there. The, the Facebook physician groups. 
And so anyways, we wound up rekindling our love. And so people have probably seen our our cherry health posts and our our automation in the Facebook groups now. Why did you start working with us? You know, you started off thinking that I sucked. (laughs) What what pulled you back over? I think um, so. I guess when I first started the Facebook group, I didn't think about it as like the best solution or the optimal solution. I thought it was like the easiest solution that I could start today, but there are problems, right? Like with speed comes like lack of uniformity, lack of uh, moderation. Like it, it has a place, but I do think there needs to be a larger dedicated organization in place that uh, is designed for like a much more thorough, more formal process. And I think these exist in some capacity in Ontario and Canada, but I didn't think anything were doing like a stellar job. Um, And I think Cherry does a better job. And I think that's one of the reasons is when I banned you, I didn't, I don't have no recollection of this, but I'm assuming we spoke (laughs) and you're like, here's what I'm doing. I'm like, that's great. Um, And then, I, we, we, uh, connected because I think that there, there was a lack of, uh, someone to fill this gap. And I think Cherry does the best job at filling this gap. I think Cherry, uh, has situated themselves to not specifically, you know, be instead of the Facebook, but just like the Facebook has a role, but there are issues. And I think Cherry fixes the vast majority of those issues. Well, when we started building the Cherry Health Network, you know, it really started out with locums at the forefront. Like that was the problem I was personally experiencing, just going around locuming and how much of a pain in the butt it was to just line up that next job every week, every other week, every third week. And so it really highlighted like just the lack of a proper infrastructure for it. And certainly there were the Facebook groups and that was probably like the best thing by far, right? Because it just had the highest density of people on it, but it was still very difficult. And like, it's a chronological wall of just posts with no structure, no format, like people not really knowing what to fill in. Cause it's just very, it's free form. It's just like a text entry and can be whatever. And so we started making cherry and then we had this structure, you know, we had this purpose built platform built for like, healthcare human resources and connecting doctors and clinics together. But then the thing that we were really lacking was that like what Facebook had, which was that density of users and that critical mass of how do you actually get enough people in an area so that it's useful, right? You think about like Uber with not enough drivers and not enough passengers. It just doesn't make any sense. And same thing here for those like hyper regional network effects. So that's when we started working together to like start bolstering and making it easier to actually get all these people onto a platform that's built for it. And so it's been working really well. Like I spent what, like a couple of years now, we've officially had that Facebook plugin that's actually cross posting the jobs between the two platforms. Yeah. And I think that, um, that's, I mean, that's been the biggest advantage I think of our partnership is that, uh, is that like, no, and you know, you're walking on a, on a trail of dead bodies, right. In the like recruitment space, there's, there's been a lot of things that have come up and then have died because they weren't able to achieve the critical mass. So Facebook has its place, but I do think there needs to be a cherry health, someone that can do it better and more formal with, you know, more resources, bigger organization, but. Facebook just is very convenient. And as you know, physicians love convenience. Um, So connecting the two was like, if we can get this convenience factor on Cherry, it's like a win-win. Exactly, 100%. And that's really how it started. was just like trying to fix the problems that we were personally experiencing, right? Like it's tough. And the, the recruiting posts that are all over the different doctors' Facebook interest groups, they're just completely cluttering it up because everybody's yeah. desperate to recruit and like you aptly noticed right everyone was getting annoyed that these recruiting posts were all over the place it, rightly so because everybody's desperate so they're trying to you know shoot their shot wherever they possibly can but like the canadian healthcare system we're definitely behind the times like our medical clinics are just struggling and like there's not a lot of money in it in terms of being a business owner and therefore there's not a lot of money to go around to pay for recruiting and recruiting services and that's why this has been just such an underdeveloped 
area and like a huge blind spot in our whole healthcare system. And so we got lucky. We wound up getting a hundred thousand dollars from the Canadian medical association back in like early 2021, right after we first started making like the first version of our app. And that's really what got us going. And then the partnership with you guys at the groups. Yeah. I remember, um, like when we, I think we did residency at a similar timeline where like when we were residents, they were like, this will be fixed by the time you graduate residency. Like it's bad now, but like, don't worry about it. And then you would be like in residency and they're like approaching, they're like, this is new. Like the recruitment's going to be figured out. And then it's like your staff, they're like, Oh, just look them for a bit. They'll figure it out when you're done. And it's like, you know, it's always like, Oh, it's going to be fixed. And it's, it's, I would say it's worse. Not from like the, uh, uh, the lack of like, uh, the physician density, I mean, seemingly in the, in the zeitgeist has gotten worse almost since we've been in practice. Well, sometimes somebody experiences the problem and then well-intended comes along and comes up with another point solution, another web page, another whatever to try and connect doctors and clinics in that area. And it just further fragments things. Yeah. I mean, that's a big part of like the big picture for Cherry, right? So we were creating the medical network, right? So most countries out there in the world, developed nations, they have like a healthcare flavored version of LinkedIn for their healthcare practitioners. And so that's what we're building with Cherry. You know, first gear here is the jobs and locums and connecting everybody. But now we've got nurses, dentists, pharmacists on there, all different kinds of healthcare professionals and healthcare practices. But the ability to just start connecting the medical system together in a like better fashion. That's what we're trying to replace as opposed to texts and WhatsApp groups and email chains and a thousand different Facebook groups that you don't know exist and they're hard to keep track and orderly. So that's sort of the, the role that we're looking to fill in the long term. And then, I mean, I was, that's what was one of my questions was like, I mean, Cherry's evolved really quite a bit since, since you and I met. Um, and I guess like, I think that was always like in the big picture, but in your mind, like from where it is now in like two years, five years, like how are you envisioning, like where do you think Cherry's going to be situated in this space? So it'll be more of that like traditional social network where you can like create posts, send all the messages back and forth, share information in that like HIPAA, PIPEDA compliant fashion. Mm -hmm. Right now we've been focusing mainly on the jobs and the connections and making those contact points between people and the different organizations. But coming soon, it'll be more of that public facing like stuff that you can share more socially on there. There just hasn't been like a, a economic incentive to do it yet like it's just not a, a high priority right now for canadian doctors and so it'll take a little bit and more adoption and use case by people and by the medical community before that becomes you know economically viable for a small company like us to actually build that and maintain it but that is definitely the direction we want to go if anybody has seen doximity in the u.s this is like the big shining example of a healthcare network that's pretty much what we're doing here in Canada is just creating healthcare, its own digital home and a community to help collaborate and share ideas and connect everybody. And, and what would you say to like the doctors that already feel like I'm a part of too many like social networks? Like I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on I, my Snapchat or my TikTok feed is all different doctors giving me advice. Like, are, do you think Cherry's going to eventually, like, you can unsubscribe from some of these social media groups and we're going to be, like, migrating these to Cherry in the future? Because I think the argument is people don't want, like, another notification feed that they have to follow. There, I think there's always going to be a role for those different platforms. And it really depends on what you're looking for, right? Like if you're wanting to see the latest in like, you know, the healthcare political scene and like tweets coming down from like the people in the province or in the city, there's no, sorry, X, X yeah. things <laughs> happening. How dare you? Yeah. So, and then likewise on Facebook, right? Again, it's going to be more like social and community and sort of fun, but Cherry really is going to be that business network. Like when you're mm -hmm. looking to help advance your career, to help your clinic grow faster, to help your practice run more smoothly, to like share these like more business and like productive and work oriented things. That's really the space that Cherry is going to be stepping in and filling. Sounds good. I mean, it sounds like, Physician LinkedIn really is, is like a physician network.
Pretty much. Again, everywhere else in the world seems to have one of these, but Canada's, what do you do? Yeah, we're, we're ahead and we're behind in some things, you know. Cool. Okay. Well, I mean, if any of the other people from the group wander over and see this, any other like questions or things you wanted to throw out or ask? Yeah, I guess, I guess one of the questions you would get from like an Ontario specific thing is we have an organization called Health Force Ontario, which is like, you know, I would say outside of Facebook, the biggest recruitment organization. And I think um, it has benefits and it has issues. And I think that lots of the doctors know, but why would you say somebody would maybe lean towards using Cherry instead of posting on HFO? Or even I mean, just for an HFO. I mean, the usability, right? Like it's just the difference between using a web platform that's like 10 years old, 20 years old. I don't know how yeah. old it is, but it doesn't look oh. very new. It doesn't feel very new. <laughs> it doesn't work very new. Um, and so just, I don't know why use MySpace when you could be using a modern network. And then two, like you're limiting yourself to just purely that Ontario side of things, right? Like if you want to be recruiting, if you want to be looking at stuff cross country, if you want to be pulling in doctors that are considering making Canada their home, let alone somebody from the neighboring community, really that's where that reach comes from. And having Cherry as this central beachhead for all physicians and all healthcare practitioners to actually start tapping in and connecting, that's where that benefit comes from, just that density and that size growing outside of the province. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I, I guess you think that, you know, when you're recruiting, you, you want to cast as big of a net as you can, right? Exactly. Exactly. You don't want your efforts to just be local and limited and that's it, right? That's where it stops is at the border. I mean, you've you used HFO a lot more than I have over here in Alberta. Yeah. What, what, what do you see as being the, the difference? Uh, I think that there's problems and I think that uh, everyone is aware of their problems, but I, I think it's an old platform that has a very specific purpose, but um, it didn't fill the gap that I think the Facebook group is filling. And I think that um, Cherry is a much more intuitive, newer, faster, more inclusive platform that I, I don't think it needs to be, you know, one or the other. Like, I don't think you need to, I mean, posting on Facebook kind of, you know, cross post, but I think that you, when you're recruiting and you're desperate, you, you know, you go across the board, right? Like you're not, you're not recruiting locally. You're going to use any platform you can reasonably do. The difference is that I think that on, on Cherry is like a more formalized process. Like it's, I think uh, it, like, especially people that are coming on to Cherry to look for job posts, you're going to, you're going to get a lot more of the details up front, as opposed to, you know, maybe something like Facebook or even some of the HFO posts that are more looser in structure, where it might just say, got a job in Hamilton, message me if you're interested. And you're like, please uh, elaborate on your job post. Yeah, that richness of details, right? Like <laughs> yeah, just exactly. the fact that it's got images attached to it, right? And yeah. again, it comes down to like, it's not a network, it's a job board, right? Versus yeah. Facebook is a network, you can actually reach out and Cherry is a network, you can actually reach out, connect, discuss things, right? Versus you're just posting a job and praying it gets picked up, you know, on the actual healthcare network, you can take matters into your own hands and actually like recruit as opposed to just hope. And, and I think one of the other advantages of something like Cherry as well is that, you know, sometimes it doesn't take long to find out whether a job is like a good fit or a bad fit and needing to like prearrange uh, like a whole meeting with somebody to get like a very specific piece of information, I think is sometimes like not the best use of your time. So being able to use something and having like a quick communication or a quick elaboration is just bilaterally beneficial for both people recruiting and people looking for jobs to not, you know, have to waste seeing somebody or a phone call or going in person when you just, when that's the advantage of having that built-in communication. 100%. It's just so much easier to like communicate easily digitally, right? Like our whole generation of millennials, we get anxiety thinking about picking up the phone when it's not 100% yeah. necessary. And if you want to message, if you want to email, if you want to do it, you know, the modern, faster, easier, more convenient way, that's how it's done. A hundred percent.
Cool. Okay. Well, thanks so much for taking a few minutes out of your day here just to chat and explain a little bit more about the group and why we're working together. No problem. I think uh, it's been a great partnership. I apologize for banning you in my, <laughs> my distant past. <laughs> I've already went over it at some point. Yeah, exactly. We've moved on. Our relationship has blossomed. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Thank you, Cody. Anyways, have a good day. Bye-bye.